In this video, I'm going to address how we use special therapeutic contact lenses to treat lazy eye. I'm Dr. Moshe Roth. I'm a developmental optometrist, board certified in vision development and vision therapy. Lazy eye means different things to different people. Some people, even some doctors, think that lazy eye means that an eye that turns in or turns out relative to the other. It's not. The correct term for an eye turn is strabismus. In a different video, I discuss the various types of strabismus. The medical term for a lazy eye is amblyopia. Vision develops, and we need to have the right conditions for it to develop. Think of a flower seed. For the seed to become a flower, we need to have several conditions. We need to have the right type of dirt. If we plant the seed into beet sand, it's not going to develop. We need to have water. A seed won't sprout without water. No water, no development. Heat, flowers don't grow in the winter. And sunlight. If one of those are missing, the seed will not develop into a flower. Vision is similar. We need to get a good picture into the eye and then get that into the right part of the brain and then make sense of that picture. If one of those parts is missing, we're not going to be able to make sense of what we're seeing. Those of us who can see with both eyes have a difficult time understanding someone who might have a problem with that. If the power or prescription of the two eyes is very different, then one eye might be getting a clear picture while the other eye is not. When that happens, the brain doesn't develop the wiring between the eye and the brain. The term for that is anisometropia. The two eyes have different powers or prescriptions. When there's a large difference between the two eyes, eyeglasses can't solve that, but special contact lenses can. Many people have heard of patching, where we cover one eye for a certain number of hours per day. Many doctors still prescribe patching, even though it rarely works. As a matter of fact, patching didn't work 30 years ago, or 20 years ago, or 10 years ago. So why do some doctors still prescribe patching? Well, the thinking behind patching is logical. On the surface, that is. Patch the good eye, so the person starts using, using the bad eye. Okay. Patching alone gets some short-term improvement, but usually it doesn't last. The reason that it doesn't work long-term is because once we take that patch off, the brain returns to using the good eye and doesn't use the two eyes together as a team because there's such a strong signal from the eye that the per person has been used to using. It's kind of like having a four-lane highway on one side and a one-lane highway on the other. Most highways are built having the same number of lanes on each side. Some medical procedures drop out when doctors develop newer and better ones, but despite that, some doctors still patch even though it doesn't work long-term. It doesn't work because it makes a bad assumption that once you remove the patch, the two eyes will miraculously work together. You can't work on one eye and assume that that's going to build teamwork, much as you can't just develop one soccer player and assume that because of that, the entire team is going to work together. It's often pediatric eye surgeons that still prescribe patches. They may understand surgery, but they often don't understand how vision develops. If someone has a problem with their teeth, it would be more appropriate for them to see a dentist rather than an oral surgeon. In the same way, it would be best to see a developmental optometrist, a doctor who deals with how vision develops in children, rather than seeing a pediatric eye surgeon who might understand surgery or disease, but doesn't understand how vision develops. The goal is to have the person use the two eyes together as a team. Special therapeutic contact lenses are the best starting point to begin to develop vision from the eye that hasn't developed 
because of amblyopia. We don't block the vision from the good eye as a patch would. Rather, we make the good eye a bit blurry so that the brain begins to use the eye that it hasn't developed. In this way, the brain still uses both eyes, but begins to develop the wiring between the eye and the brain, so ultimately we can use the two eyes together. We learn how to use the two eyes together through a process called vision therapy. At times, we may use a computer program as part of the therapy, but there too, the computer program alone usually doesn't solve the problem. Vision therapy for amblyopia usually solves the problem permanently because it's guided by a therapist in the same way that a teacher guides his or her, her students or a parent teaches their children correctly. Often, do-it-yourself programs don't achieve the intended outcome because it's hard for someone who's not an expert in this area to know what the end point is in order to move to the next level and what that next level is so that we can attain that. We want to help you build these skills so that you're successful in school and in day-to-day -day life. Please consider calling our office at 732-679-2020 and schedule for an examination. I'd be happy to help. I'm Dr. Moshe Roth. I'm a developmental optometrist, board certified in vision development and vision therapy.